Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Staff Sergeant Math and Sharkbait. Today I want to look at this Common Core standard and how we can teach it a little bit different. So today we're going to be looking at the cross sections and I'm going to use a pound cake, a knife, I have one foam block, paint, brush, and some white printer paper or you can use uh, construction paper whatever you like so let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing I'll do with my pound cake is I'll notice that it's not a rectangular uh, prism yet so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the top you can go ahead and knead that I guess um. So as best as you can, go ahead and try to get your pound cake to a right rectangular prism. Uh, the sides seem to be pretty all right. Uh, if you have to, you can just go ahead and cut the sides. Now, the point of this is for the students to do it. Depending on where you are, you can go ahead and uh, ask them to bring in a dessert that they can make a right rectangular prism out of, and they can go ahead and cut it uh, and see what kind of cross sections they can come up with. Okay, so remember, these activities are for the students to do. So they can go ahead and experiment. They can see what happens when you slice it, you know, normally, um, or when you go and do things a little bit different when you go from this vertex to this vertex uh, your knife representing your plane and this is your 3d figure um, so I think when you involve food everybody's gonna go ahead and remember that activity a little bit better than if they were just drawing it like they would normally okay uh, so let's see what I can do here I can go ahead and remember your knife represents your plane and I can see the the cross section that it's left me with it seems to be another rectangle now let me see what happens if I go from here to here okay see those kind of things would be what you want your students to do all right what about this foam uh, now here you can actually use foam or you can use a sponge um, depending on, on what you find I, I didn't find a sponge uh, that I liked but I was able to find this so this is what I'll use so the same thing here still representing my right rectangular prism I can go ahead and cut this and this activity I would use for students that don't see the cross section very well so I cut my foam and what you can actually do is have them apply paint where they've just cut and if you're good with your with your art teacher I'm sure that they'll let you uh, <clears throat> use some of their paint so I'm gonna go ahead and put some paint here now what I'm what I'll tell the students to do is the only thing whoops the only thing that's allowed to touch the the paper is the cross section so they're not allowed to use the the paintbrush on the act their actual paper they can only touch it with the cross section that they've applied paint to so you can have them put it down and pick it up and you'll see the cross section the shape that it made now what's cool about this is that you can have them make a painting okay go ahead and keep cutting your 3d figure and 
actually make you know a work of art out of the cross sections that they've made and they can use different paint now obviously these activities can be done with a right rectangular pyramid uh, which is also what this standard calls for um, other items you can use would be let's say rice krispie treats uh, those are those are easy to work with even some chocolate bars uh, you can go ahead and find in the shapes that you need so whatever you want is it's up to you and I think uh, these activities will actually make the discovery a lot more memorable thank you for joining us until next time Yeah.